We have also been seeing images recently of the crisis in Sri Lanka, which also tells us that there is a limit to the patience of a country after a long period of tolerance for a country that had been run as if it was a family business. <laughs> and that had failed to address the dire living conditions faced by the people. A once very powerful president has had to flee from his country amidst the angry protests of the people who he had taken for granted for so long. The fact that in recent assessments of risks of debt default globally, Ghana and Sri Lanka are mentioned in the same breath means that we cannot be complacent about our situation. We can perhaps be spared that kind of tragedy in our nation if the commemoration of the life and legacy of President Mills signals us or signals to us a need to follow his example of leadership. I would not be doing justice to the memory of President Mills if it seems that his moral attributes are all there was to the legacy of integrity that I'm talking about. In being elected as president, he undertook to make a difference to the real lives of the people of Ghana. And so it is appropriate to consider how he fared in that regard. We must start with the recognition that President Mills inherited an economy that was in disarray, with the previous government living beyond its means and recording large fiscal deficits in 2007 and 2008. This led to high levels of inflation in those years. The debts owed to two energy sector institutions, VRA and, TR, and TOR alone, by the end of 2008 were almost two billion and rising. Rather than any measures being taken to address the economic imbalances, it was regularly claimed that the economy was doing very well. To compound the situation for the incoming government, commitments had been made to the single spine salary adjustments for public servants without any resources being available for this, nor a real plan for revenue generation to meet those commitments. It is to the credit of President Mills that the single spine salary structure was implemented, providing most public servants the benefits of improved remuneration. He was committed to those improved conditions of service because he knew the sacrifices of teachers, of doctors, of nurses, of policemen, of soldiers, judges, officials in the judicial service, all the security service, and public servants generally. The implementation of the single spine salary structure was achieved through improvement in economic management under President Mills, particularly the prudent financial, the prudent fiscal management, which also enabled Ghana to experience significantly lower inflation from January 2009. 